Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Suling from Malaysia and today I'll be sharing another painting process video of mine. As you can see, this time I'm painting something different from my usual botanical subjects. The reference photo for this ice cream is sourced from the stock image website unsplash.com. I will put the link to the photo in the description section. Here I have the drawing ready on my watercolor paper. This line drawing template is available in my free subscriber-only library. If you would like to get a copy to practice, you can sign up using the link in the description. Without further ado, let's paint. So there are two scoops of ice cream on the cone. The top scoop is light pink in color. My guess is that um, it's either a strawberry or raspberry flavor. <laughs> so I'm starting by applying a light wash of pink hue to the top one. I'm now using permanent rolls from Windsor and Newton. As this one is just the first layer of light wash, it doesn't have to be evenly applied since the surface of the ice cream is not flat or smoothed anyway. But I did take note of areas that were slightly darker. On those areas, I dropped in a bit more pigment and used less water. Now here I made a mistake by painting the bottom scoop with the same color. Based on the color in the photo, I wasn't sure what the flavor was, um, but I decided to give it an orange flavor, since I could easily add on a yellow wash over it later to turn it into an orange tone. So I moved on to work on the strawberry scoop. This time I used a bit more pigment to mark the darker areas or areas with shadow. And I'm still using permanent rules. At this early stage, not only did I keep the colors light, I also kept my brush strokes light and loose and avoided making hard edges. So now I was going to apply a light wash of yellow to the bottom scoop to make it orangey. The color I used was Windsor Lemon. I probably could have used a Windsor Orange right away, but I just wanted to be on the safe side and not end up with an intense orange color. It's always easier to correct the colors when they are light, but once you go overboard, it's harder to reverse. So now I moved on to work on the cone. I first applied burnt umber for the darker shadowed areas of the cone. For the brighter parts of the cone, I used raw umber. Both the brown hues were from Windsor and Newton. I will put down all the colors I used in the description below. So now I'm just adding water to make the bottom part lighter and brighter. I dropped in more burnt umber to deepen the shadow. I 
After the initial washes were laid down, now it's time to add tones and shades to the ice cream to help create its form. I'm still using permanent rose, but this time it's more intense. The pigment was too much, so I removed some using a clean brush. Or sometimes using a paper towel is much faster. I'm mixing some Winsor Orange and Permanent Rose now because I want to add some variation to the shade on the strawberry ice cream so that it's not just one shade of pink all throughout. I refer to the photo while applying the paint to the necessary areas. I know I wouldn't be able to put it all the shadows 100% accurately but I try to follow as much as I could. So I continue to do this for the strawberry ice cream. The main method that I used here to create the shades is called the damp brush technique where I first put down some paint onto the area then I blend and soften it with the slightly damp brush. I can tell you that this is my favorite watercolor technique so far. Moving on to the orange flavored ice cream. This bottom scoop of ice cream had gotten me thinking right from the beginning. First, I couldn't guess what the flavor was and as seen from the photo, I felt the color was a tad too pale and wanted to change it up. Then there were some small bits and pieces in the ice cream, mm, that kind of texture which I wasn't really inspired to paint. So I wanted it to be more or less like the one on top. But since the one in the photo appeared to be relatively smooth, I had to imagine where the folds and shadows are and try to create the desired texture. So this time I was using uh, Winsor Orange to apply the shades. Again, starting it light at first.
Just added a bit of raw umber to the orange to be used uh, at the darker areas. Adding some shades here to better define and separate the two scoops of ice cream. Moving on to the detailed texture of the ice cream. Now using a smaller brush, I drew some wriggly lines and used a bit of uh, a stippling motion to make lines that are made up of any small dots. If the contrast was too much, I softened it with the damp brush. What I was doing now would help enhance the shades that I previously applied and also to give texture to the ice cream. Doing the same for the orange one. I actually didn't like what I have here at the moment because the lines and shades look weird to me. So what I did was to apply a wash over the entire scoop to soften the lines first uh, and then I would come back to it later. So sometimes if you feel like you are stuck in the middle of a painting or you didn't like what you did, just leave it aside and work on other areas first. You will then come back with fresher eyes and mind to work on it. For the cone, I now filled up the rectangles with the brown shades, burnt umber for the darker areas and raw umber for the brighter parts. I painted them loosely so the squares were not filled up perfectly, but it's okay. To me, they look more natural this way. If you're enjoying this video, do not forget to give it a like or subscribe to my channel.
If you have questions, also feel free to drop them in the comment area. For the final touches, I now added more permanent rows to the darkest areas or where I wanted the lines to really stand out. Adding some random and subtle spots using very little paint. And now back to the orange ice cream and try to make it look better. I'm now using a mix of our Windsor orange and permanent rose to get a deeper orange color. I decided to add more wiggly lines and hope that this would make it look better than before. Finally, the last thing I did was to add a glaze of burnt sienna over the entire cone to give it a golden brown appearance. Tidying up the edges of the cone, Dabbing with the paper towel to lighten up the area and the ice cream is completed. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next. Bye!